Hey there, Melissa here with Crescent Moon Tarot, and today I'm doing a client reading. This client is someone near and dear to me, and uh, he has asked me to do this reading for him, and I have agreed. Uh, he is going through a difficult time right now. He recently moved to a new area. Uh, he had a bit of a hard time finding a job. He's got one now. He had some friends move away from him. He moved to a different part of town, so he's feeling a little isolated right now. And he has asked for guidance and how to, um, and what he needs to focus on right now to make himself um, happy. How can he rebuild his happiness? So I have created a spread. I called it the Spread Your Wings Tarot Spread. And it will be on my Tumblr. That's crescentmoontarot.tumblr.com. And this spread I created to help one evolve and move on from a challenge that just won't let them go. So it'll help them heal what they need to know. And, and hopefully this will help that, um, that individual that is very close to me that's going through some, some tough times right now emotionally and spiritually. Um, and socially, you know, he lost a bunch of his friends. They moved away. They're, he's at that age where kids are going off to college. That, that young 18 to 20 year old demographic right there. So this reading is for you. I am using my Finestra deck by uh, Chatria. I've probably said that very wrong. It's not a deck I pull out very often. Um, it is very large in my hands. It's very hard for me to shuffle, but I do feel like it has a very positive energy um, without being overly feminine like the Crystal Visions Tarot is. Fenestra is very soft, very positive. Um, it's almost kind of romantic in a way. There's a lot of watercolor in it. And it's just very soothing to look at. And, and when I read with it, the messages t tend to have a more positive connotation. Um, my, my typical deck that I use, Zerner Farber, is a little more unforgiving. It can be downright rude sometimes. <laughs> it's kind of why I like it so much, because it will definitely put someone in their place if needed. Um, and it spits cards all the time. This deck doesn't really do that. That's more me just dropping cards. So, Finestra deck by Chitraya, Chatria, uh, published by US Games, is what I'm using today. You see, I can barely fit that in my hands. <laughs> inevitable. There is one dropped. No, come back. Come back, cards. First card is going to be self. Got the Page of Wands. Feeling a uh, lack of creativity, a lack of direction, um, nothing really advantageous about the new beginnings, and um, maybe feeling a little let down and disappointed. Things might not have been what you thought they were going to be. So what you need to forget in order to be happy is the Ace of Wands in reverse. I almost knocked, <laughs> knocked over my coke there. Um, Ace of Wands in reverse, again, is about, um, it's kind of in the same vein as the page reversed. It's new beginnings that might have gotten off to the wrong foot, um, and swords is, is ideas. So maybe either you had an idea, something would be so grand, and it's not living up to your expectations right now. So forget your expectations that were that are currently letting you down, and just forget them. Let them rest. 
and what to forgive, temperance. Temperance is about balance and equality, um, both the good and the bad. So anything that's happened that you that was not to your expectations again, um, the good and the bad, the balance, forgive it, accept it, move on, let it let it rest in the past where it where it belongs. So what you need to accept to move on. Six of Cups, childhood memories and nostalgia. Accept that your childhood has gone. You're now an adult. It's time to uh, shape up or ship out, as they say. Um, remember your childhood, you know, fondly, of course, and, and indulge in that nostalgia from time to time. But accept that it is a closed chapter of your life now. What to change? And we have, I can't read numer Roman numerals upside down. Okay, we have six of swords reversed. You have been transplanted to a place, a new place. And this card is telling me it might not have been your idea. Um, since I know you personally, I thought it was. Um, it may not have been originally your idea. So change something if you don't like it. If you want to move back home, if you want to move in with a friend, or if you want to change your current living situation where you are so it improves, change it. Well, this is what your spirit needs for you to find your happiness again. And that is the five of, is that five? Yes, that's five. Five of swords in reverse. Let any arguments that you might have had rest. Let any conflict that you might have had um, end and let, let that stuff go so your spirit can heal and get that kind of off of your conscience. You might need to make an apology to somebody or um, perhaps you, you need to be apologized to so you feel um, your spirit definitely needs closure on some kind of conflict. And then what your body needs... Knight of Swords, go charging in like a cavalry. Your soul, your body, excuse me, is craving physical activity that is both daring and adventurous. Um, maybe something a little crazy like, uh, I don't know, parkour or skydiving or whatever comes to you. You, you could definitely benefit from some, from some uh, exciting physical activity right now. So... If any of your friends are going to go rock climbing or something, think about joining them. All right. That's how the cards should go. And I knocked that over. Sorry, sorry. And here's what we're left with. Some cards fell a little bit, but this is meant to look kind of like a butterfly. Spread your wings and grow. Go forth and uh, make your happiness, find it for yourself. And uh, I hope you get to be in a better place emotionally, physically, spiritually, and uh, socially. Go make some friends and start that journey to healing yourself.